Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone video that focuses solely on one particular horde. And in this video folks, it is the O'Leary Mountain Horde, the smallest horde in the game. This should be fun folks. Right folks, the O'Leary Mountain Horde is only 25 strong, just like the Horse Lake Horde, and this horde is only available to take on once you have reached the Lost Lake region. Until you get there, this horde will never appear. Now, it's located pretty central in the Cascade region, and that is their daytime location. Moving on from here over to the west, you have their night feeding location. And then a little bit further down here, that is where they go when they go to the water location. Now, a very small horde, but there are a few ways to take them out nonetheless, so... Let's get to it, folks. Right, folks, the first method I'm going to show is the conventional method, and virtually everyone that takes on this horde will probably do it this way at some point. Just make sure you have a fast-firing weapon. At this stage in the game, most people should have the SMP9. Basically, head into their cave and then just go to town on them. The beauty of the SMP9 is it is a very quick weapon to reload should you run out of bullets, but not really an issue with this particular horde. That's the first one. Nice and easy, folks. <laughs> okay, on to the next method. Right then, folks, on to the next method, and this is the quick and easy method. As if the method you've just seen before this wasn't easy enough. This, folks, just basically involves an attractor bomb and basically taking out the last five freakers that will remain with your SMP9 or whatever weapon you have. I like to make sure that the attractor bomb is well inside the cave because the attractor bombs don't basically last for very long before they uh, detonate. So you want to make sure you're definitely getting those 20 kills. And after that folks, it's just a case of taking care of the last five freakers coming out of the cave. And there we go folks. It doesn't get much easier than that. Slight overkill given the numbers but it's a good way to do it nonetheless. Right then folks, on to the first of two easy kill locations and they both take place at this horde's night watering area. So I've basically shown on the map whereabouts I am and basically from here folks it's all to do with this tree trunk here. Because yep, you guessed it, it's climbable. And once you're at the top here, you basically want to get onto the rock face because once you're up here, it is an untouchable location. So when you get to the top, yep, and unfortunately on this occasion, I just uh, <laughs> overrun it a bit, but that's no problem. You've got time on your hands here. There's no problems because the horde in question that you're looking to take out is a good um, 70 to 80 meters away from you. In fact, I've got it marked down there. You can actually see it shown yeah, 70 meters. So basically, once uh, you're on this uh, rock area here, it's just a case of enticing the horde over and then taking them out. And uh, <laughs> while they're taking their time to actually get to you, you can just take out a few from long range anyhow. But, of course, once they reach uh, this location, they are far easier to take out because they will start to congregate basically around this area here. Now, the only problem with this location, folks, is that for the Oluri Mountain Horde, although it's a very small horde, they're not all that willing to come up to this area. You get some of them coming up quite quickly, and others just don't seem to be that bothered. So, at this point, I'm just going to take the time to take out the ones that uh, have congregated here, and I'm just going to move over a, a wee touch, just to make the job a little bit easier. That's nice, because uh, beforehand there I was... Uh, slightly encumbered by the tree trunks, so. And how are we doing? This should be some more start to come up now. Yep, I've got survival vision on, so it's, uh, if you do have this available to you, it's always handy to use. It gives you a good idea of just what's going on. And yep, the last of the horde is basically over there and they are all coming over to my position, slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not a method if you're wanting a quick kill, that's for sure. But it is 
an easy kill location so it's always worth showing because there are some people that just want a very nice hassle free relaxing way in order to take them out because once you're up here if there's any other enemies that happen to appear wolves or anything like that you're safe from everything up here and if there's any more freakers that appear as well as the the main ones for the horde that you're trying to take out it's just extra free careers for you because generally folks if i show any uh, particular kill locations at night they are usually easy kill locations because taking out any horde at night folks is extremely dangerous and problematic you really do get a great number of unexpected surprises which makes the job um, a far from easy one but there we go folks that is the O'Leary mountain horde finally taken care of this is not a quick method folks but it is a safe one okay on to the easy kill location number two Right folks, on to easy kill location number two, and I assure you folks, this won't take anywhere near as long as the previous one. It does take place in the same area, but this actually involves getting to a very specific spot that is very close to the watering area. So I'm just looking to basically pass by the watering area because I want to approach it from this side. And... As I get closer, it will all become clear. Once I get to this area here, I am looking to take the bike up this rock. And there we go. Yeah, voila. We are in business. And once you come off the bike here, this is as easy as it gets. Now I'm just going to use SMP9 here, folks, but if you have any spare Molotovs, you can use those. 9mm, SEF12. Just whatever you feel like. Also worth noting, folks, that at the end of this particular um, method for killing the Freakers, I am actually going to show three very good locations for getting extra resources, should you need them. Right then, folks, here is the first location for getting your hands on some really good items very early game. And the first location is basically the power station in the Cascade region. And it's basically located here on the map and where the triangle is right now, that is basically the area that you need to get to. Basically, you need to start climbing up all these uh, stair areas until you eventually get to this point right here. And then it is up this uh, rather large set of ladders here. But once you get to the top, this is where all the items are. And there's quite a few in this uh, one area alone, folks. So start off with... A proximity mine fantastic to have early game as well as this you also get one flashbang and one frag grenade i'm full up on uh, med kits at this point but there is a med kit there there is also a melee weapon a sledgehammer and then you have a pipe bomb and an attractor bomb all in all just for that one location a fantastic haul to get folks Right then, folks, location two is actually located in the Belknap region. Albeit in the northern area, it's actually in the town of Marion Forks, and the first house is right here on the map, folks. Now, once you get here, there is a very specific way of getting onto uh, the roof section and into the particular uh, room that all these items are in, and it's right here, folks. As soon as you go in, just look at this lot. One proximity bomb, one attractor bomb, and one proximity mine. As well as that, there's a hatchet there as well. You've also got ammunition. Yeah, that's nice. Right, folks, on to location three. And this location is also located in the Marion Forks town in the Belknap region. Truth be told, it's not very far away from location two, folks. And... Very similar to location two, you require a very specific route in order to access the two window areas that you need to get in to access the particular rooms that have all these items. And this is the first one right here, folks. Once you're in here, there is a rag there as well as some ammunition, but there is also a fantastic sniper rifle that you can get very early. And if you just go through into the next room, you have a med kit and a tractor 
and a frag grenade. But that's not all, folks. There is also a flashbang on the bed there. Once you have all those items, just exit the window here, and then you're looking to go in through the next one here. And from here, folks, there is also someone you can loot as well as a melee weapon. But the pipe bomb in the toilet there, very important. And then there is another couple items here, a Molotov and also a medkit. Very nice. Right then, folks, on to the last method, and this is the stealth option. Now, I can't imagine too many people are going to want to do it this way, but should you want a stealth option, this is a very nice way to go about it. I'm taking them out during the day, and I'm basically just going to create a little bit of noise outside their cave. I basically want them all to the front of the cave section, and then from here, it's just going to be two of my resources. The first is going to be an attractor, and then, yes, you guessed it, folks, it's going to be one grenade. And this will take them out. It's only 25 strong horde. The grenade will take out 30 freakers. Good night. <laughs> and there we go, folks. That is the O'Leary horde well and truly taken care of. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video.